Do you hear me? I'm talking to you across the water, across the deep blue. I was very close to Amy as she was growing up. When she was a little girl, we used to go for ice cream. And we went to the movies. I would take her for rides in my car. Dreams, I feel you whisper across the sea. When she was getting ready, I was thinking, this is the baby, this is my last child. And she's getting married, I can't believe it, she's going off. I couldn't believe that my little sister was getting married. I felt like her day had finally come that she's dreamt about all her life. I was so happy for her that she found somebody that she really loved and that loved her just as much. Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your root was so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because this is what love is. Lucky to have been the symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. And so I'm sailing through the sea to an island. I begin my life with you today. Knowing that we have developed a trust and commitment that is strong enough to last through good times and bad with this ring. I offer you my hand, my heart, and my soul as I know they will be safe with you. Seeing her walk down the aisle with her dad, that was the most emotional part for me. The new Mr. and Mrs. Amy and John Dale. Looking at her face and looking at how joyful she was and in that moment wishing her all the best that life had to offer and all the happiness that marriage could bring. I think we can all attest that John has been very happy since meeting Amy and the two of them deciding to spend their life together. <laughs>